Hey guys, uh, so this will just be a quick video on how to link um, your trade ideas uh, software to uh, Thinkorswim. Now, there are a few videos on YouTube on how to do this, but I found that uh, some of those videos are um, not quite as detailed as, as we need. Um, it's not very intuitive, uh, this, this linking process, uh, only because Thinkorswim changes its program, uh, they get updates and things break with time. So sometimes the linking doesn't always work. Um, so if you just got trade ideas, you might tr uh, just try doing this, clicking on add link and just following the directions, uh, mouse over the window, hold shift, hit OK. And then you might run into some problems when you click on a, um, a symbol. Nothing happens. OK, so let's try a different uh, approach. Let's go ahead and delete this. So then you might try, well, let's get a little bit deeper. Let's hold, hit shift. Now we'll try selecting the think or uh, swim rule. So surely this must, must work, right? Well. No, not really. Okay, now if you are if you get to this point and you're still having problems, uh, this is what I found uh, can be helpful. Okay, <clears throat> so first uh, what we want to do is go up to here in this little uh, window up here and click Detach. So this opens up a separate window uh, in Thinkorswim. And <clears throat> I already have another one open here. I'll just drag it over. And so now, if we go through this process again, um, let's delete this previous one, add a new link, and hit Shift, hit OK. Uh, now we are uh, linked up. So I found that this usually works. Uh, however, um, there's a few things to note. Uh, there's a lot of subtle details that will make it not work if you're not careful. If you try to um, create a link when a symbol or ticker is in this window, um, I've had problems. You want to make sure that you delete uh, the ticker before you create the link. Um, secondly, um, I found also that if you've had problems um, mousing over and hitting shift in the window, uh, <clears throat> sometimes it actually is more consistent if you hold shift over the, the area here uh, where you actually input uh, text. Um, click this window again. To, so hit shift right there. Um, and that usually um, takes care of any lagging issues that I might have and linking things up. Um, what, what Trade Ideas does is it actually detects the window and when you click on a symbol it actually inputs the text in here and hits return. So um, sometimes, for whatever reason, holding the mouse over this input window is more effective than just holding it over the window. Um, at least in my experience, um, which is very little. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope this has been somewhat helpful to you um, in getting your trade ideas uh, hooked up, linked up with Thinkorswim. Um, oh, one last point, um, as other videos have noted, if you change the graph in any way, um, <clears throat> you break, you lose the link. Uh, so yeah, simple workaround to that is just to <clears throat> uh, detach another window, which I have, and you can, you know, make it small, as however small as you want, make sure that you're uh, linked up uh, the same color. 
delete the symbol as I noted before and um, and then you can create the link again to the smaller window hit shift and so you can make this window smaller uh, and so if you change um, make any changes to this window um, you will still uh, retain the link um, and other videos have covered this as well uh, one one little thing to note though I found um, when you generate the link initially pull this window down and um, oops, and and generate the link as I just did previously for some reason if this is pulled up like that and I tried uh, generating the link um, it doesn't always work here let's try it now and see what happens hit shift close okay it worked that time uh, but it doesn't always work if if this is um, like that so I've, I found I just had to open it up a little bit you know remove the symbol uh, the ticker as usual and then go through the process and note um, every time I'm doing this I'm not choosing the think or swim rule because I found that it works just fine without and actually choosing the think or swim rule sometimes breaks it so um, this is as as of January 2018 things may change in the future um, but this is the latest linking process that I've been going through every morning when I set up um, my charts and get ready for the day. All right, guys. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful and uh, uh, good luck and happy trading.